Welcome back, and I ended up forgetting to really do a save state for this. So, you know what, I went through the whole thing, and I, again, but I went through the whole battle, so you're not going to see the battle. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, welcome to Mar uh, Let's Play Mario & Luigi Partners in Time Part 3, which is actually Episode 2 now. So, we beat the bad guy. Toad went in to check on the princess and goes, No! No sight of the princess! No, no, no! That awful monster! Wait, let me see if I saw my configuration already. So, yeah, okay. So this should be easier now. Just take her easy now. She wasn't this fella's breakfast. How do you know? Egad. Oh, he has a DS. He always has the console. I don't know why. Blarg. Sorry if you hit it here when in the back of that's my AC. It's really hot out today. My DS radar puts Peach somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom of yesteryear. Time radar. Wait, time radar? Time radar! You just made that up. Where'd this monster come from then? That I don't know. And with the time machine this dinged up, we're not going anywhere. What's that? Calm down and speak slowly. A mysterious hole has appeared in the garden. Why does the heroes always have to be silent? I, I mean, it would be funny <laughs> to put the heroes to not be silent. Anyways. Is it? It's possible the return of the time. The, 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 it's possible the return of the machine or holes in the time continuum. To the garden, fellers! Hey, uh, fellers. How the heck did he jump up to the top screen? Uh, uh. Ah, Luigi, are you on your way to the garden? Instead, how about you stand guard to keep that thing from escaping and eating everyone? No, no, no. Oh, I see. Well, if you'd rather not, I guess I can't force you to do it or anything. Who knows what the future holds? Could be you might even face worse things. I did this part before just a little tiny bit, and I don't know if it's gonna be if I didn't press the button hard enough or anything, but if it does the same thing again, I'll tell you more about what happened. Oh hey, so tell me, are you jumps coming along as well as Mario's? Cause he's the best. Okay, so it does that. Um, no matter how hard or how light you press the B button, Luigi's still gonna jump short until he jumps higher, just so they could get rid of this dialogue, I guess. Yeah, let's no fins, but next to Mario, that just seems underwhelming. Know what I mean? Show him what I mean, Mario. Seriously, Luigi, try jumping like Mario. You need more intensity or something. See? Wow, that was super. That was a great jump, worthy of Mario himself. You really are, brothers. Hey, you'd better hustle along to the garden. Then why'd you stop us, girl? Jumps. See? Oh, and, um, yeah. Because of winning, um... Oh, great, you can't see him, but... Uh, Mario has now 17 health instead of 14. I also kind of messed up in the battle, so that's why you don't see it. <laughs> Yeah, oh. Anyways, let's get moving. Get to stepping, boys. Just because I can? See, Mario's level 2 now. As I suspected. It's a time hole! It's a trap! What? Yes, sir, this time hole is a doorway to the past. No doubt about it, it appeared because of that time machine. Careful there, young feller. If I'm right, that time hole leads back in time. Yet to a younger Mushroom Kingdom. Question is to where in the Mushroom Kingdom? Definitely not in the castle. I can tell you that much. It never is. Um, 
The other question is, if a fella were to jump in, could he even make it back? Hmm? We used this time hole to rescue the princess. There is an idea. I'd bet dollars to donuts that's the best chance of saving her. Oh, excuse me. Um, I now want donuts. Gee, thanks, you got it. Yeah. Master Mario! Ugh. Magical scene! M -m Master Mario! The princess! Where is Princess Peach? I totally forgot my toes by the voice right now. I just know it was deep. And what were those lights? And what is that odd hole, sir? I demand answers, sir. No time now, Toad's World. In the name of the mushroom, I shall punish you. Master Mario! And now we're doing a time warp back into time. Pretty colors. I want trick yogurt now. The top screen says, um, Holly Jolly Village to the Mushroom Kingdom Past. <laughs> oh, poor Luigi. I always land on him. And here comes the briefcase! Yay, a briefcase tutorial. Watch the leather, Professor! No need for shoving! I, I forgot my voice for this one. Oh, you must be Mario! According to the Professor, there should be a Luigi here as well, but I don't. Hmm. Oh my, are you Luigi? I, uh, sorry about that. I am pleased to meet you. I am known as Stuffwell. Professor Egad invented me. I am what he is called... I am what is called a suitcase. The professor sent me back in time to be your assistant. Yes, assistant is accurate. I am more than just some place to store your belongings. I have many complex sensors and various memory apparati, apparati for data retention and... Er well, suffice to say, I am very technologic by contraption standards. I'll be a big help. Why don't we get started by having you go ahead and open me up? Ew. Simply press start. Yes, please note that I can be loaded with all manner of doodads and widgets. Suffice to say, I can certainly carry all of your items. I am also designed to carry a veritable, veritable, veritable wealth of equipment. Equipment. Ooh, wafer socks. Yum. And to confirm that you're in tip top shape, you can check your stats here as well. I can have your attention on the top screen. Nope. This is how much time has passed since your adventure since you started your adventure, all full of danger and whatnot. This right here is the number of coins you're carrying. And finally, direct your gaze here to sneak a peek at your st streamlined statistics. I had this before. I had it like this, right? I'll leave it like that. Well, that wraps up my self-introductional tutorial. I eagerly await our working together. Press B to initiate my closing minification cycle and storm me. Finally. Now back to adventure! Chill, chill, chill. 
future moving the laptop around is fun. Not really. Hopefully I... Holy crap. They actually disappeared? Dang. Oh, poor Luigi. So yeah, let's just get out of this place right now. I'm guessing the only way to go is... Well, it's the right, really. Um, save, even though it doesn't matter since I'm using states. Wow, that was so glitchy. Yeah, the top screen just went like invert color. Mario! Oh, that's. It's not inconvenient. I'd like to proceed with some basic instructionals. Actually, I, I like these pictures. I'll show you these pictures. The key is using when pressing A and B in order. I suggest trying it. That would be giving me a lot of coins. Why not? Alright, what's over here? Sorry. Alright, Luigi, do you see the gaps in your path? Fine. Oh, wait, something else, isn't it? Looking up here, gaps that like, can be sometimes cleared with by moving the directional pad. Yes, but you can speed up and leap by pressing both of them at the same time. I suggest... Uh, okay. First guy get Luigi back up here. Okay. Whoop! Damn you, Luigi! I really should have thought better made the buttons closer together. Oh, come on, Mario. I honestly don't know why the music's like cutting up all, so I guess that's because of the DS moment. DS moment. Uh, this area is festooned with red and green blocks, according to my data banks. I hate you tutorials. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Red objects, blah blah. I, I think you can understand this, right? There are all the Mario blocks and all the Luigi blocks. And we made a staircase appear. It appears the path allowing us to proceed has opened up. Yay. I suggest until A and B to perform. Blah. 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 Holly Jolly Village. Do, 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 do. Something's happening. Holy crap. The village. Oh, uh, there are those creepers again. 